So, you know, I'm glad my friend and I decided to come today because uh, I wanted to come to Kew Gardens for since I can remember as a child. Um, I remember one of my favourite concepts of a plant was the Venus flytrap where for the first time in my childhood when I heard that a plant could digest an insect, um, that really fascinated me and I, and I knew that particular a variety of plant is being grown at the Kew Gardens itself so um, we're actually on a hunt to find that I'm not exactly too sure in which greenhouse is kept but um, yeah no I'm just I just yeah I'm just really happy to be here because I have wanted to come here for such a long time. That's the thing about living in a large metropolis like London isn't it? It's difficult to see everything there is to see or is that just an excuse? Do those who live in a city take places like these for granted and therefore postpone seeing it until the next year? I've always wanted to see Kew Gardens for myself and it was only when my friend from Singapore suggested it I was like, we have to go. After becoming really good friends over the period of three years, it was Chin Yi's last week in London, so we made it a priority. The easiest way to get to Kew Gardens is by taking the district line to Kew Gardens Station. Kew Gardens is a botanical garden in southwest London that houses the largest and most diverse botanical and mycological collections in the world. The area of Kew is incredibly picturesque and often voted as one of the best places to live in London. I, loved, I just loved how everything was decorated in the town. First impressions of the place? Quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty quiet. Everything's low rise over here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I, I miss our um, architecture vlogs actually, where we talk Which about one? architecture. Yeah. Low rise. It's difficult when a friend moves thousands of miles away, but I will always cherish the memories we spent together and showing each other special locations which meant a lot to each of us. Do you think... Uh, do you think the Kew Gardens is going to have anything on the Botanical Gardens of Singapore? Uh, I actually think the Botanical Gardens of Singapore is inspired by the Kew Gardens. Uh, so it's like what? the colonial masters brought over to Singapore. Like the I concept. See. Yeah. yeah, so I think there will, there will be some similarities. As well. You've been to the Botanic Gardens, I have, right? have, yeah. It's, so oh, you, that's you really can useful, do a yeah. comparison as well. Cool, yeah. let's go check it out. Okay, thank you. We are going to enter Palm House and this is where all the tropical plants are kept and then we're going to be making our way to building called Temperate House. Nice. I'm really looking forward to going into this one and then I think what kind of attracts me to this one is the walkway at the top so I think we're going to be treated to some really nice views and I can't wait to see all the different tropical plants. Oh my god, I do you remember this? Singapore? <laughs> oh my gosh, my thing is steamy. Yeah. <laughs> In Singapore now. Nice weather, Ambu is sweating, everywhere. Water just fell on my camera. Look. Yeah, it's from here. Oh, wow. Can you get it inside of I can, yeah, look. Look at this. Come on. I don't know if you can tell, but um, I am absolutely sweating. It's so humid. Whew. Does actually remind you of Singapore. Just a 
this reminds you of home? Hmm? Does this remind you of home? Yeah, but let's get back to the UK. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. This is like stepping back, oh stepping into God. an aircon shopping center in Singapore. Yes, right. But the funny thing is, here we went from indoors to outdoors. <laughs> oh, it feels good. 